Welcome to this video. In our two previous videos, we modeled deep drying by Abacus Explicit and all the steps of modeling were done in these two videos. You can watch these two videos in the playlist. In this video, we will explain how to investigate the correctness of explicit procedure because we speed up the problem by time scaling and we also show how to animate the result and how to plot the reaction force of the punch. We can see the progress of the solution here. The stable time increment is really small, 2e minus 8, which is really small, and we need lots of these increments to solve the total time of the problem, more than 300 thousand increments are needed for solving this problem now we go to the results we can plot the deform part by this icon and see the stress distribution and final shape of the part and we could also animate the deformation with lower speed we can animate the deformation see the stress distribution in every frame since we speed up the problem we should compare the internal and kinetic energy of the blank to be sure that inertial effect is low and our problem is accurate we pull out these two curves and we compare the value of these two curves the kinetic energy for this problem should be less than 1% of the internal energy to be sure that the result is accurate and the inertial effect is low. As you can see these two numbers related to kinetic and internal energy and compare them, we conclude that kinetic energy is less than 1% of the internal energy and speeding up the problem did not affect the accuracy of our solution. We could also plot the reaction force of the punch by history output. We requested this output in a step module and now we can plot it and see the required force for moving the punch. You can see some oscillation in this curve which is usual in explicit solutions. This oscillation should be a few percent of the value of the force, otherwise we cannot accept this curve. This force can be used for choosing the appropriate machine for forming this cup. The vertical axis of this curve is the force in Newtons. Thank you guys for watching these videos. If this series of videos have helped you out, please let us know by a comment, a like or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.